How's it going, people? We're going to take a look at another pod pack. This is the PB Rack Jet Pack. Uh, a few years old for this model, so there are updates on the newer pack. Um, but there's also a lot of similarities, so we'll go through this pack. Uh, I'll tell you what I like, what I don't really care for. If you don't know about PB Rack, um, they're a company out of Portland, Oregon, smaller company affiliated with Seattle Uprising. Um, and they're probably best known for their flow pants with that uh, flow tech leg and then these uh, jetpack harnesses and uh, Yeah, so they do some really unique things that a lot of other companies aren't doing which is kind of cool uh, Everything is designed by players essentially so all the features are intended for, to um, give people benefits on the field uh, one of the key things about this pack that not a lot of other packs have, there's a couple, is this elastic band on the outside. Basically to hold pods in and as you start using pods and start pulling them out, that elastic pushes in closer to your back. Um, and it's basically just to give you a nice small profile. <clears throat> now the newer version of the pack, uh, instead of just this elastic band, has a pad here with a couple pieces of elastic on each side uh, and I like that design considerably more. I think you could potentially get bounces off that and usually your pod pack is uh, a spot where people like to shoot to make sure they get a hit. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. Uh, another thing that's unique about the PB Rack pack, it's not the only pack doing this. Uh, other companies have been doing magnetic straps particularly LASIK, if you've ever heard of them, out of the UK, made an all-magnetic pack uh, for their straps. This one is a combination of magnets with Velcro. So there's a magnet here uh, and a magnet here, and then you have your traditional Velcro, and essentially the magnet is there to prolong the life of this uh, strap. So instead of only relying on Velcro, you do have that magnet there. I'm not entirely convinced that that makes it better. Uh, maybe if you use your pack many, many seasons, you'll see that the magnet does help. Um, but I don't know, it, for me, it doesn't seem to like make it a better pack. Uh, maybe you have different thoughts on that. Yeah, so the elastic on the outside, the magnetic straps are definitely key features. I'll get to my favorite part about this pack open it up here and that's this back pad uh, a lot of packs put most of the padding in this center section and what they've done on the jet pack uh, is that there's a nice thick pad that goes the entirety of the back here and really uh, when that wraps around your sides it's very very comfortable uh, it some other packs for me that have all the padding here when I tighten down the, the waist belt it can kind of cause some pinch spots this is a very comfortable pack uh, probably the most comfortable pack I've ever worn uh, it's it's said that the uh, a combination of that elastic band on the back and the way they set up the waist belt is gonna prevent your pods from bouncing around as much as other packs uh, I don't, you know, I've been using that HK Eject pack that uh, I did a review on earlier, and I don't think that this bounces any less than that pack, but I, that's a good pack. Uh, so the, the amount of bouncing I get from the pack is about the same as other high-end packs. I don't see much of a difference there. One really cool thing um, about this pack is the waist belt system is very long. Uh, I have a about a 38-ish 38-ish waist um, and yeah I have to tighten it down considerably to get it to fit me well so if you're a bigger person maybe you typically have to run a belt extender uh, this belt is really well set up for bigger players and I think that's really cool I you know I don't see why uh, a lot of companies have a smaller belt it should kind of be more universal and I like that here Let's see, the um, actual pod holsters, uh, they're obviously tucked behind this band, but 
they are not rigid like other pod packs. Uh, basically, that's to promote that kind of sucking this pack back in towards your back. If this was rigid, it wouldn't pull back in as well. Um, I find that the design is very much speedball oriented. Uh, for me, it doesn't work too well because I play a combination of speedball and scenario games where I have to reinsert pods. Um, so not having that rigid uh, pod holder for the main four slots, uh, yeah, it makes it more difficult for me to put pods back in. And because of this band being here, uh, that kind of covers up where you would put your strap back on. Uh, you know, I tend to, if I was out on the scenario field, maybe like catch half the Velcro and the magnet like that. Uh, and it's just not as, not as easy to reinsert pods. So if you do have to reinsert pods, I'm going to recommend something else for you. This is a very speedball oriented pack, in my opinion. That kind of really small profile, uh, quick access to pods, but you're throwing those pods away. You're not really reinserting them. What else? Um, I have found, and this just may be this pack. I got this pack used, and uh, I can't really tell you how much use it has had. Uh, but it looks to be pretty well loved. Probably a few seasons. These, I find these straps, and it may just be because this elastic on the ejection is wearing out, that these straps are too long for my standard, like, 140 Gen X Global Pods. Uh, I can't really tighten the pod down against this elastic so that when I pull the strap, it will actually eject. Um, I actually have to leave this strap pretty loose on there for in order for it to be able to hit that Velcro spot. Uh, so that's a problem for me. It, the, the strap is too long, uh, and that may just be the result of a long time use, and this elastic starting to uh, not be quite as elastic, but that's a problem for me. So if you ran something like the longer Virtue pods, the die pods, that would probably be less of an issue. You could probably push those up in there real tight uh, and not have any problems with that. One of the things that people question about PB Rack is the quality of their products. Um, I've heard a lot of stories about the PB Rack, PB Rack pants and some of these packs uh, falling apart after very little use. Like I said, I can't really touch on the, that to a crazy amount because this came to me in used condition, well used condition, and I can't tell you if that guy used it for you know, one season, three seasons, whatever, or what he was even doing with it if he dove a lot, um, etc. But there are some key stitching points, especially around the belt here, that are coming undone. Um, you know, I don't want that to necessarily sway anyone's opinions away from this pack because if it has been heavily used, I don't consider the wear to be excessive. Uh, but, you know, definitely talk to people that maybe have had this pack in the past and how it's worked for them in the long run. Because um, there are some cool features. It is super, super comfortable. Um, like I said, I wouldn't really use it for rec purposes, scenario purposes. But for the speedball field, it is a solid, solid option.